SEO helps your content rank, but it also destroyed the web and good content as we know it today. SEO has a lot of ranking features, some hidden and some not. But pages rank at least on these three criteria here. Number one, comprehensive content that contains all the keywords in the related subject. Number two, a authoritative source are linking to the content or the website. Number three, the page is on a website that is known as authoritative theme, right? That means it has a lot of content related to the subject. These criteria seems great at first, but as everything in life, incentive is what drives life. And these incentives are terrible and have destroyed our internet. I'll go through each of them and at the end I will show you a solution, at least a partial solution on what we can do about it. Number one, comprehensive content. What could be wrong with this incentive? Well, it incentivizes bloaty articles that are overstuffed with keywords and related but not useful things. The more text and keywords you can stuff into this article, the better. That's my experience when I searched for something and I found an article on Google. Uh, DuckDuckGo, slightly better, but still the same. So when I just need to know one single fact, I just ChatGPT it. I don't even bother searching anymore. Number two, what is the better way to ensure that your content is great? By linking from an authoritative source. Well, who decides on these authoritative sources? And, uh, you know, these so-called authoritative sources have had a problem lately with something called facts and um, it's not so great. Like, why do we suddenly have a huge increase in heart attacks since there was introduced a special medical procedure in 2021? Maybe the authoritative resources will suggest that it's because you're not eating your ultra-processed killer cornflakes as breakfast. Yes, this is apparently the reason why. Or why not eat grandma? I'm not kidding, this is mainstream media. They are suggesting to eat grandma to save the world from farting cows. Now, it's, I don't know, maybe I'm just a crazy one for not wanting to do this, but it, it, gets, it gets a little bit crazy out there. Or why not encourage world hunger? like our favorites at the United Nations are doing. Yes, this article is real. I took the screenshot myself before it got removed from the internet. Apparently, people do not like it when unelected bureaucrats are educating us on why world hunger is actually good for the economy. Who could imagine that? Number three, your website needs to be authoritative in that subject. This means that you are not judged by the great article that you wrote but around the other articles that you have made previously. Well, someone else probably have 10 or 100 articles or maybe even a thousand articles on that exact subject. So you're irrelevant. And this also means that outdated information is actually promoted more than newer, more interesting or better information. And this also have an insidious effect because it disencourages new blocks to be made because why make a block when there's someone that is a lot more authoritative in that theme than you you won't be able to compete with that and that means that we will have an even more centralized internet with less sources the solution is twofold number one if you're just searching for facts just chat to be it don't bother anymore with like finding an article that ex explains you what to do. Just chat GPT it. Now, number two, if you're looking for deep in-depth knowledge and you're really trying to go into a, a subject, you want to find awesome blocks that have really proven them over time that they are what they are. You won't be able to find these blocks on Google, which is why I made bestblockfinder.com. Here you can find the best blocks in the world. You can also submit your own blog. It's all free and every blog is manually reviewed to make sure that there's no boring AI generated content in them. That's it for now. See you in the next one. That is of course if you're subscribed. Cheers.